Hello, welcome to Dundrow's Podcast. I'm your host, Justin. So today, I'm reviewing Overheard, which is a 2009 crime thriller film, right? It's directed by Alan Mock and Felix Chung, who both wrote the uh, famous Hong Kong film, Infernal Affairs, which was the... Uh, which was the inspiration for The Departed, the Scorsese film, right? Which The Departed, Departed is like a remake of Inferno Affairs, right? And uh, Alan Mack was actually one of the directors of um, Inferno Affairs, as well as uh, one of the screenwriters. So, uh, ever since, obviously, uh, uh, I want, you know, I, I, I rewatched Inferno Affairs like a year or so ago. And I, I, I was looking for more movies to watch, you know, with the same kind of feel as Inferno Affairs. And obviously the first thing you do is check uh, what other stuff the writer-director did, right? And I've, I've heard of the Overheard films, which there were three of them, right? Um, all starring the same, like, same, like, three actors, right? Um, which, is, which is funny since, you know, you watch the... The first one, and you know some of those characters die. <laughs> Spoiler alert! So it's like one of those film series where, like, oh yeah, they don't care about the f- what happens in the first film. Like, ah, uh, bring back all three actors, bring back all the actors, right? The same thing that happened in like the what was that one? Um, Johnny, uh, Johnny Wu, Wu uh, John Wu film <laughs> with uh, Chung Yun Fat. Oh my god. The Better Tomorrow films, right? <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so that, that's funny. So yeah, the, the movie stars Ching Wan Lao, Louis Ku, Daniel Wu, Jing Chu Zhang, and Alex Fong. So the, the movie uh, is about three cops, right? Uh, who are working on a case where they're investigating this corporation for insider trading, right? And uh, they're doing surveillance, and the movie starts off uh, very tense with them sneaking into like the the company at night, right? There's classical music playing. As for if it wasn't for the fact that I knew the I read the synopsis of this film, I I would have no idea that, the, that these guys were supposed to be cops, right? Because it looks like like it, that they're doing a heist or something. And the movie has a lot of element, a lot of elements of like a heist film. At first, when I first heard about this movie, I thought it would be like, um, like kind of like the HBO's The Wire, but it's it's more like a high, like almost like a heist thriller film, really. So like, yeah, the movie's about like three cops who uh, are part of a team investigating this corporation for insider trading, right? And uh, the three cops are, are like, you have the, um, oh my, I forgot the guy's name. <laughs> uh, uh, let me double check. You have uh, Sean Lau as uh, Johnny, who is like the older brother of the street cops, right? He's been, um, he, uh, he's best friend, he was best friends with the captain in charge of the team uh, called uh, Kelvin, who turns out that uh, Kelvin, Kel- Kelvin's wife left him months ago and he's been secretly seeing her uh, behind his back, right? Uh, so that, that there's some drama there, right? Um, you have Louis Koo, right? Which isn't this guy a, direct, a director too? As uh, Gene, who is uh, a father of five kids and is, has money problems when one of his, kid, one of his kids is sick. And the fir- the third one is Daniel Wu, who you might know from. He was one of the voice actors in that Warcraft. He played one of the orcs. He actually played the orc shaman in the Warcraft film. And he's also the main star of um, in- Into the Badlands, right? And he he's like the young cop of the three of the trio, who is like married into a rich family, right? Um, and is getting pressured by his uh, his father-in-law to quit quit the force 
because you know a cop a cop's salary is not enough to keep his daughter happy, right? So what happens in the movie as they're like spying on the uh, one of the the head of the the uh, one of the bosses at the corporation who's like who's messing around with his secretary. He he spills the beans on some insider trading, right? Um, tells her to buy a stock uh, now because it's going to rise like you know, uh, like a lot, right, <laughs> or something, right? Um, so what happens is that Gene needs the money, so he tells uh, w tells um, Max, that's Daniel Wu's character, to like delete the log. Right? <laughs> they 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 do so, and the stock. They buy a lot of stock, and the stock rises like f fucking crazy. <laughs> right? uh, and they're b and Johnny, the the like you know leader of the three guys, fig f finds it all out, right? Um, so what what happens is that um, now the the bosses the bosses at their uh, bosses their unit suspect, hey, there's something going on. How is it that, you know, the the stock rise so much at this company, but, you know, our our, our cops who are investigating the the unit didn't know anything and then and then there's another dilemma when our our characters uh have uh our characters uh leave like leave like a um a bugged like uh lighter at, at the dude's office and overhears uh, two two of the bosses threatening to kill uh, threatening to kill the um, the the guy they've been spying on for fucking up like you know the insider trading right so our our characters have more moral dilemma where do they do they um, do nothing and let the guy die or do they fess up fess up and admit everything or do they <laughs> come up with another plan right um which one of the move one of the villains in the movie is p played by michael wong plays will ma who's like who's like actually uh an american actor <laughs> uh a chinese american actor right who's fluent in english but not in chinese and uh is not in China. He's not fluent in Chinese, but like, there's like a lot of scenes where like, um, he sw he'll switch between English to Chinese, like throughout the movie, and it, it's the point where like it gets like, um, um, like to the point where like uh, one of our characters they like, even like you know go to him, man, you're like, don't you find it confusing when you switch between English and Chinese all the time, <laughs> right? Uh, which I've I swear I've seen this guy in other movies, right? But it's funny. I didn't know the guy's like Chinese. The Chinese was so bad because you could hear his American accent, but like, yeah, they they, they were giving they, they gave the guy a, like a uh, hard time about it, man. I, I've seen this guy in another movie. I can't remember where though. Uh, yeah. So uh, let's go into my likes and dislikes because I, I don't want to spoil the movie, right? Um, yeah. So the movie I like. The cinematography was great. I liked the relationship with the characters, though I watched this movie on Tubi, and the subs at times were not like the dialogue was a bit weird, right? <laughs> like, okay, it's like, dude, they could it would have been nice if they like translated it so like the dialogue flowed. Maybe don't translate what they're saying literally, because sometimes grammatically it doesn't make sense. Uh, or whatever. I don't know what was going on with the uh, with the translation, right? Um, yeah, I like the characters. Um, I like the characters. Um, it, the movie is definitely one of those. It's not an action movie, so don't go into the movie expecting a lot of action scenes. Though there there are some cool thriller scenes in the movie, and thriller scenes in the movie, right? And the um, like I said, the the cinematography was good. I like the 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 music, right? Um, there is a scene in the movie where um, it kind of jumped the shark a bit at the end. <laughs> like, 
Uh, and then and then they do this other thing where like oh there's a car crash and then they, they replace the car with a CGI car and I'm like oh my god and and then there's the thing where like the movie takes place you know like do like I I have a hard time believing this movie took 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 place in 2009 because it's, it's like this movie came out in 2009 because the the their phones looked like looked really old in the movie man oh my god like um they. They 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 look like like early two thousand like you know uh, two thousands phones man holy fuck uh, I I could be wrong but yeah their phones looked really old in the movie right and then there's like a thing oh my god I can't spoil I would have to spoil it but like yeah there's a thing where like um yeah I I want to spoil it because I, I I get accused too much of spoiling movie reviews right um the movie does have a dark ending and. If, and if you don't like, uh, see, um, if you're a parent and you don't like, you know, seeing kids die, kids die in movies, maybe, you know, prepare yourself for this one, okay? Overall, I enjoyed the movie, though the movie, uh, I, I like the film, but it's not, it's definitely not as good as Infernal Affairs. Right, which I would say is like almost like a nine out of ten that film if you ever seen it, right? Which I, I just looked up that that movie had all that movie had like two two fucking other sequels, man. And I'm like, oh, what the fuck is with the, like the the Hong Kong or uh, where they're like, oh yeah, let's make sequels to movies where everybody fucking dies. <laughs> Not saying that happened in this film, but it's like holy fuck, dude. Uh, and I'm not saying that happened in Infernal Affairs. <laughs> but if you haven't seen Infernal Affairs, go watch it. Okay, it's a, it's a great, it's a great movie, right? So if yeah, if I were to do this movie rating, oh, I'm somewhere between a seven and an eight. Um, I did feel like the movie was like a bit rushed because like the movie, this is like this is like the first uh, Asian film I watched in a while that wasn't two hours. It's a, it was like an hour and like 39 minutes or 37 minutes, right? But like, yeah, it could have been used. Like, there could have been more f fleshed out with some of the, you know, some of the things in the, like, some of the characters in the movie, right? But overall, I enjoyed the film, and I would give it, you know, um, I would give it like I would say like a seven out of ten. It's a solid seven, almost an eight, but not quite, right? And then they they did some trickery <laughs> it's funny how like somebody I, I saw a review for er's um um fucking um glass onion movie review right and how like the he showed how like be pre-twist scenes and then post-twist scenes right in glass onion right where they did some bullshittery i swear to god they did there was a scene in this movie where they show you a character die, and you, I, I swear to God, I saw like a bullet hole in, in his back, and then like, uh, yeah, that turned out to be fake, <laughs> right? Like there was, and when they showed the scene again, there was no bullet hole. I swear to God, the first time I saw that guy get shot in the back, he was dead. He had a bullet hole, so there was some bullshit there. I could be wrong though, but yeah, seven out of ten, solid film. Check it out, and it's on Tubi. <laughs> Uh, peace.